Hello and welcome to the OASIS Loss Modeling Guide to installing the platform on Windows 10. So there are a few requirements you need. That's Windows 10 64-bit, either Pro Education or Enterprise Editions. And you need to have a CPU that supports virtualization and have that enabled too. So if we jump over to the Task Manager, you can see here I have virtualization enabled and sometimes you might need to jump into the BIOS of your laptop or desktop to enable that. So with all those requirements sorted, uh, we can go to our GitHub page here, uh, which you can find by either the link or just Googling Oasis LMF GitHub. And what we're going to install is the OASIS Evaluation Repository, which is this bit here. And that installs a copy of the OASIS platform and OASIS UK uh, windstorm model called Pywind, uh, which is a, an, a toy windstorm model for uh, Melton Mowbray here in the UK. Okay, so first we're going to install Docker for Windows, go to Docker Windows 10. I'll take you to Docker Hub where you can find the installer here. And if you get the stable version, uh, I'm going downloads, which we have downloaded here, and I'll kick that off. So that's installing Docker, which is a lightweight virtualization system, um, mainly for Linux, but it also has a Windows client as well. So if we look at the Oasis Evaluation Repository, you can see there's a diagram here of various components running in Docker, and each of these squares is a Docker container. So we have one for the Oasis user interface, one for the API, uh, several for the model execution workers, which is running the insured loss analysis. So while Docker is installing, let's go ahead and grab Git. Yep. Uh, most of the defaults are okay for this. And you can find the installer for that by just going Windows 10 Git. And it will take you to the page where you can download the Git client for Windows. Um, Windows and yeah, 64 bit. So we already have that, so that's fine. So let's just wait for those to install and then we'll continue. Okay, Docker's installed. So if we go ahead and launch Docker. You can see it's starting off in the taskbar here. So once that's up and running, if we go over to PowerShell, let's launch a new PowerShell. Okay. And we can check we have the various components in. So if we do git, we see git command is available there with all the sub commands. Same with Docker and Docker compose. So we'll first start by cloning git, which makes a copy of these files into our local machine. So we can do that with git clone and the link. Then if we go to the folder it's created, 
increases the valuation. You can see we have a copy of the files here in the laptop. So to start the installation, we need to run this install.sh script. Do that there. <clears throat> it then runs the script in a bash emulation, which was installed by Git. Okay, so it's now pun it, pulling the Docker containers. You can see it downloading. And if we go to the dashboard here, currently no containers are running, but as this script continues, we should start seeing activity here. Okay, so the containers are now running and um, required for the containers is a file share which passes files between the various services. So that creates a pop-up like this. Uh, do you want to share between these containers? And we'll just click share it for each one. Okay, that's the platform installed. So if we look at what the container is doing, it's currently waiting for the databases. So that'll take maybe a couple of minutes to come up. And once that's up, you can access them from the links provided in the Oasis Evaluation README. So there is a link for the UI, which won't be working just yet and the UI, um, API, sorry, and also the admin panel here. So once the container is up, we can refresh these pages and we should see the running platform and user interface. Okay, that's the API running, which you can access from local thought host port 8000. So there we go. These are the various API endpoints. And user interface is at 8080. Okay, there's our user interface that should be running. There we go. Okay, let's log in. Password is admin password. And we'll just do a quick run through to make sure everything is working. So go to new analysis, create a portfolio, let's call it test. And we will attach just the location file from the downloaded Oasis PyWind repository. Go to Oasis Evaluation, PyWind, Tests, 
inputs you can see some sample exposure files so we'll just use a small location file it's lock with 10 locations yep we'll create a new analysis with the pywin model here just run Okay, so that's process the exposure file. And it's ready for analysis. So let's run the analysis. Just a very basic analysis with uh, only defaults. Okay, and it's completed. You can go to the dashboard to see the results. And yep, we have our results here. Now, to install the model development kit, we need to enable something called Windows, subsys uh, Windows uh, Linux subsystem. So we can find that by going to Programs and Features, which is under Control Panel, and then turn off and on Windows Features. And there will be a checkbox near the bottom. Where is it? Windows subsy Subsystem for Linux. And if we enable that and click OK, it'll go and install in the background. But we don't need to do that here since it's already installed. And once that's up, if you go to the Windows Store, you can find various distributions like Ubuntu. And you can install, um, we recommend the latest version of Ubuntu, which is the long term release here, 2004. Um, once that's installed, if you go to PowerShell, and type bash, that launches the Linux subsystem for Windows. So we can install the MDK now by running pip3, because it needs to be in Python 3. Install Oasis LNF. And that downloads the Python package needed to uh, run models on command line. So we can go to Oasis Evaluation, Pyland, and then we can run this model using this file, which has the defaults. Uh, for the model run command. So it has an analysis settings JSON file here, which is uh, the definition of um, the analysis to be run, and the various exposure files, lock, count, and reinsurance files. So if we do Oasis LMF model run, it will pick up that file automatically. There we go. And we have our outputs in this folder here. There we go. The those are our various output files. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you have any other further questions, you can find our contact details on our website.